I remember that the church started at Dave and Karen's house. We had very powerful times of meeting there. Also powerful prayer meetings on a Tuesday morning. I really learned how to pray. It's great to see how far this church has come in the last 35 years. We arrived at Peterborough Community Church in 1994 and I remember as the service first started having an overwhelming sense that we'd come home. 29 years later and I love the fact that four generations of our family all call Kingsgate their church home. I think one of the highlights for me has been being part of community action over these years from back in the day running the share outs in community centres around Peterborough to being involved in Care Zone Food Pantry, the projects we have now. It's just been such a privilege to be part of that and able to show God's love to our communities. I've been at Kingsgate Church now for 28 years and I just remember my first visit. The thing that drew me in was the sound of worship and that sound of worship has gone on to be something that's affected me in my personal life and my personal times of worship. Going deeper with God in that place has been an exciting place of growth for me and now to look out from the stage and see every nation, every creed worshipping together is just one of the most beautiful privileges. I came to Peterborough in 2006 and looking for a church and finding Kingsgate was, was key. And immediately I walk in, I knew that I found a home. And um, finding good friends, connecting with great community was a highlight for me. It was exactly like something described. When we came, we felt that sense of belonging as well. The highlight for me was the international evening. My mom was there. We met good friends, and I'm very excited for the future. Kingsgate has played a huge part of my 27 years on this planet so far, all the way back to when I was dedicated as a baby by Dave and Karen, to praying over the foundations of the Kingsgate Peterborough building. Then as I moved into youth, I met some of my very best friends, and most recently I met my husband George in young adults. And there is so much I'm grateful to God and Kingsgate for. Ever since I was a little kid, sat behind a tiny drum kit, I would dream of one day being able to play drums on a Sunday at Kingsgate. And I grew up in the church, um, so throughout youth I had opportunities to drum uh, for the youth team, and I now drum on a Sunday main stage, which has been a dream of mine. I'm so grateful to be a part of this amazing Kingsgate family, and I'm so excited to see what God has in plan next. Our journey with Kingscape began in 2011 and through various roles and opportunities we feel like we've grown so much and we've learned so much so we're very grateful for that and here we are now in Romania after sensing God's calling eight years ago. And we are here to uh, fulfill our calling to plant a local church with national influence and to carry on the vision and values of Kingscape. We are so excited to partner together and to journey together into the future. I joined Kingsgate Cambridge when I was a student and over the last 13 years it's been such a privilege to be part of this church family and just to see it grow and change from when we used to meet midweek as life groups all together in a coffee shop to where we are now and, and you know I know for myself personally as well I've grown so much because of this church family and I'm just so grateful for everyone who's invested in me and invested in this church and I'm so excited for all that God is going to continue to do. I moved to the UK from the US about two years ago with my husband um, and when I arrived I was depressed, I was isolated um, and I remember going to the first Kingsgate service and being so emotional because I just knew that that was our place and that we belonged there. Um, and so since then God has done a complete 180 in my life. Um, we joined a life group that was so welcoming and really built a community there and now we lead that life group which is really exciting. Um, so I'm just thankful for all that God has provided in my life through Kingsgate. When I first heard about the launch of Kingsgate Leicester, when I was part of the Kingsgate Cambridge campus, and I was so excited about it because Leicester is my home city. So I became an intern at Kingsgate Peterborough and then was part of the launch team for Kingsgate Leicester. And now a few years later, we have the privilege of leading the Leicester campus. 
A number of years ago, the Lord gave us a prophetic picture that we would be a church for the city, meeting in the city centre. And that's where we are now. And it's great to see lots of people making Kingsgate their home. I've been part of the Kingsgate family for 11 years now, mainly because I started first in Cambridge. But once we moved away from Cambridge, it was lovely to be able to join online and still be part of the family. Online, we have a community of a mixed bunch of people, all the way from Norway, France, and even Denmark. And we have a lovely time together, a meeting online, and even sometimes face-to-face, -face, those of us around London try and make it together. And it's lovely to be able to grow in the Lord together as a community, even though we're so far apart all the time. And I can't wait to see what God will do in our lives even more. For Dave and I, leading Kingsgate Church has been such a privilege. And we're so grateful for the wonderful journey of the last 35 years. And you know, I've often said that the biggest highlights have always come in the shape of people. We've enjoyed such unity over such a long time with such a great diversity of generations and nations all coming together to worship the King and to work together for His Kingdom. Yes, and through the many challenges and opportunities, we've experienced a tremendous sense of the abiding presence and amazing favour of the Lord. To Him be all the glory. And as we look ahead, we have a growing sense of excitement and expectancy that for us as a church family, our best days really are ahead of us.